Hi friends, Radhika Ravikuma here. So welcome back. So let us continue with the stored procedure. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we have already seen uh, what are stored procedure and the parameters involved in it, the parameter modes. So now let us uh, start with the program. What we'll do now is we'll just write a program where uh, we'll the department, uh, so the employee number is given by the user, and for that particular employee number, we are going to display the uh, e name then the salary and the job title of that uh, particular uh, you know the employee number for the given employee number this will be given value and for this value we are going to display these things out so let us write a stored procedure for this and see how we can execute it so now let us uh, create a stored first stored procedure program so uh, to start just say create or replace store procedure right so you just see say procedure and give the procedure name let it be p1 then open and close bracket so here if a replace is mentioned because if in case the p1 name is already existing in your uh, database as i said the store procedure is going to be a reusable one and the compiled code is going to be stored in the database and it can be reused again and again so in case if in case the p1 is already existing it, it, by using this replace keyword this p1 will be replaced with the uh, now whatever code we are going to give okay so for that just say create or replace procedure p1 then after that inside this is where our parameters is going to come so whatever in out and all so here in this program as i said the value given is going to be the employee number for that sake we are going to say p um, something p number and say in and the data type is number so after that this is the input value of um, from the user the second one is going to be by using this we are going to display the employee name salary and the job so for that you need to create the parameters like pnm say out then the it's going to be bar cat okay then uh, p sal out so you can give any parameter name that you want so comma then p job out um, job was like sorry p sal is the uh, number data type is number and here just mention the varchar okay so this is how you need to mention your parameters after this just say ease and say begin okay so here uh, in the begin section uh, what you're going to do is you're going to write the query where uh, telling that you need to you know select all these columns from the your table name and where in the condition you're going to give this number so that, that will be the input from the user We'll see how we can write that just say select e name these are the uh, column names that is there in your uh, table employee table okay salary job okay then say into and you're going to mention all these uh, variable names because you need to you know store the values that is going to come from this e name salary job into these things so that you can you know output the values okay so just say select enum sal job into pnm just um, you know let it be in the order whatever you are mentioning let it be in the order pnm then the p sal then the p job so after telling this then start your from clause from which table are you going to fetch it that's employee then say give the where condition where the department number so not the department number employee number is going to be equal to p number so this is going to be a user entered value so this will be our p, and p number you can see this in parameter mode so this will be in the where clause we have given this p number okay so after this just end your procedure so it's done now let us uh, execute this procedure and see what is going to be the output sorry when copied it properly let me clear this sorry you can see the procedure is created 
now we need to uh, you know uh, do a unit testing in order to you know, execute this program so what we'll do now is so let us uh, write the unit testing program in the next tutorial so uh, hope you have uh, enjoyed the tutorial and you have understanding whatever um, I'm you know telling about the procedure the stored procedure so if there are any queries related to this then please do mail me um, at uh, plsql.informatica.gmail.com and thank you very much.